See that humongous estate down there? That's my house. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies everyone immediately fact-checked. We gotta start thinking like these Wall Street guys. For this list, we'll be looking at movies based on real events or films with some sort of science-based story that left people needing to know what actually happened or could happen. Which of these stories was unbelievable to you? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. The Wolf of Wall Street In addition to Naomi and my two perfect kids, I own a mansion, private jet, six cars, three horses, two vacation homes, and a 170-foot yacht. Martin Scorsese's 2013 film stars Leonardo DiCaprio as Jordan Belfort, a stockbroker in the late 80s and 90s whose greed and talent led him to the heights of fortune and the lows of prison. The film is filled with money, sex and drugs, and given that it's based on the memoir of the real Jordan Belfort, people naturally wanted to know how much of what DiCaprio does in the movie Belfort actually did. Let me tell you something. There is no nobility in poverty. Did he really have a wild lion in the office? Did he really do that many drugs? Were the crimes he committed in the movie accurate to what he pulled off IRL? We just had to know. I clean up my act, I did rehab, I'm a TV personality, I'm sober for two years and this happens. Number 9. Contagion Is there anyone else who might have had contact with her? This was everyone. Aaron Barnes did. Barnes, he worked on another floor. There were documents she needed to sign. He picked her up from the airport. In 2011, Steven Soderbergh's Contagion had a lot of people wondering about how scientifically accurate it was. But that was probably even more the case in March 2020, when the film gained a renewed popularity. With the new mutation, we are predicting an r naught of no less than four. And without a vaccine, we can anticipate that Approximately 1 in 12 people on the planet will contract the disease. The film is a medical thriller dealing with a pandemic virus being spread via respiratory droplets. Sound familiar? Yep. In March 2020, when the COVID-19 pandemic was shutting down the world, Contagion was becoming one of the most watched movies in North America. The similarities to the current situation were hard to miss. There's no doubt folks were Googling everything they saw and fact-checking a film that, filled with masks, mutations, and social distancing, didn't feel like fiction anymore. But right now, our best defense has been social distancing. No handshaking, staying home when you're sick, washing your hands frequently. Number eight, Molly's Game. My weekly poker game is moving to the Cobra Lounge. Tomorrow night and then every Tuesday night, you'll help run it. It's a movie about a former world-class skier who ends up running a high-stakes poker game. There's poker, lots of money, drugs, the Russian and Italian mafia, and the FBI. Of course, questions were raised. Was the Cobra Lounge where Molly is introduced to underground poker games real? In other words, he was playing poker and the others were gambling. Was her relationship with her father accurate? Did the end of the movie match how it all really went down? Molly's Game writer-director Aaron Sorkin is also the man who wrote The Social Network, which has received some criticism from the liberties it took with the real-life facts. You better lawyer up, asshole. So being drawn to some fact-checking after this one seems quite reasonable. Did anything good come of this? Not really. Number 7. 8 Mile by the time 8 Mile came out in November of 2002, Eminem was already a star. He'd released four studio albums by that point and had been topping charts for a couple of years. The 8 Mile screenplay wasn't based on a true story, but there were some obvious autobiographical elements from Eminem's life. And fans of the rap superstar left the movie definitely curious about exactly what parts of the movie were real and which ones were total fiction. I get the seven digits from your mother for a dollar tomorrow. <laughs> from M's home life to his early struggles and rap battle collapses. Did he ever get so nervous that he puked up his mum's spaghetti on his sweater? <laughs> These are all things people needed to know. Number six, the pursuit of happiness. What would you say if a guy walked in for an interview without a shirt on? And I hired him, what would you say? He must have had on some really nice pants. 
In 2006, Will Smith starred in the heartwarming and uplifting The Pursuit of Happiness about the real-life struggles of Chris Gardner. Hey, Dad, listen to this. Knock, knock. Oh, who's there? Shelby. Shelby who? Shelby coming around, around, when she'd come. A salesman who, in the 1980s, ended up homeless while raising his young son. Gardner's perseverance and intelligence led him out of poverty, and he eventually starts his own multi-million dollar brokerage firm. But while that basic story is true to life, there were some liberties taken. For example, Jaden Smith plays Gardner's five-year-old son in the film. You'll probably be about as good as I was. That's kind of the way it works, you know, and I, I, I was below average. However, in actuality, Gardner's boy was just a toddler in the time of the events in the movie. People, no doubt, had questions about how accurately the film portrayed Gardner's journey, and everyone definitely wants to know if that Rubik's Cube scene actually happened. Good job. Number five, Hustlers. I mean, some of the girls have been in, like, Playboy, Hustler. I was a centerfold once. A movie based on real events about strippers who drug their rich clients and then steal their money by running up the tab on their credit cards. Oh, baby, this game is rigged. And it does not reward people who play by the rules. You either gotta stand in the corner or get in the ring. How are you not going to be fact-checking everything you saw the minute the final credit started rolling? Did the movie Hustlers go about their scamming the way the real-life Hustlers did? And did it all fall apart the same way as well? And what about the Usher flashback? We know people are definitely going to have to check to see if that really happened. And I have to say, that's the end of the PG-13 version of this story. <laughs> Number four, House of Gucci. It was a name that sounded so sweet, so seductive. Synonymous with words. Style. Power. Considering that Gucci is one of the biggest and most iconic fashion brands in the world and has been for a century, you'd think the story of House of Gucci would be a well-known tale. And while it might be in Italy, in North America, this crazy story of greed, wealth, deception, and murder isn't as much a part of the public consciousness. They're my family. So am I. After House of Gucci, though, it sure is, and is the kind of crazy story that would have people saying things like, if it wasn't true, I wouldn't believe it. But how much is true? That's what everyone was fact-checking. Number three. Jaws. Released in 1975, Jaws is still the reason, decades later, that many people are scared of sharks. The film's tagline was, you'll never go in the water again. And there are those who've probably never set foot in the ocean since seeing the film. There was no internet or Google back in 1975, and it was over a decade before the first Shark Week. But there's no doubt that people walking out of theatres were running back home to grab the S volume of their Encyclopedia Britannica to see if giant killer sharks were real. And on a personal note, we've always wondered if a bigger boat would have helped. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Number two, Jurassic Park. In 1993, Steven Spielberg welcomed us to Jurassic Park and in doing so, made dinosaurs cool for a whole new generation of moviegoers. And there were probably many who walked out of the theatre wanting to know more about those amazing creatures. Could T-Rex really not see you if you stayed absolutely still? Keep absolutely still. This vision is based on movement. Could you really pet a Brachiosaurus? Did dinos get cold? It looks like it has a cold. Yeah, maybe. Can I touch it? Sure. Just think of it as kind of a big cow. <laughs> but obviously, the one question that everyone wanted answered was, could you really clone dinosaurs using DNA from the blood of fossilized mosquitoes? Using sophisticated techniques, they extract the preserved blood from the mosquito and, bingo, dino DNA. 
So much so that decades later, you can find real scientists and science publications weighing in on that exact question. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Catch me if you can. By the time I was caught, I was considered the youngest and most daring con man in US history. Catch Me If You Can is based on the true story of Frank Abagnale as told in his autobiography. Leonardo DiCaprio plays Abagnale, who posed as an airline pilot, a substitute teacher, and a doctor, forged checks, and evaded the FBI for years. By the time he was 19, Abagnale had conned his way to millions of dollars. But did the cons really go down like they did in the movie? Did his fiancée actually try to turn him in? Did he really want to escape custody via an aeroplane toilet? It all seemed so incredible that people definitely wanted to know what was fact and what was fiction after watching this one. I'm sorry I put you through all this. You go back to Europe, you're gonna die in Perpignan prison. Try to run here in the States, we'll send you back to Atlanta for 50 years. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.